70s, made it to 71 degrees yesterday. We're looking to get to 72 today. And it's going to be a beautiful late summer day as uh, fall is approaching here in another weekend. Well, this weekend it's the Greenwich Village Art Fair at the Riverfront Museum Park, right by the Discovery Center and the you know, home of the Discovery Center and the Rockford Art Museum. And joining us from the Rockford Art Museum is the curator and executive director, Carrie Johnson. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, how are you? Good, nice to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. Nice to see you too. What's what's been uh, what's well? We'll get to Greenwich in, in a little bit. For for people that haven't visited the Rockford Art Museum in a, f in a couple of years, really much since COVID, things have changed a little bit there, haven't they? Things have certainly changed. Kind of, I think, with a lot of nonprofits, but certainly the museum as well. But we're back up and running. We've got a, a great exhibition up right now called Constant Pressure, which features. Uh, local printmakers, uh, Javier Jimenez, Dave Menard, and Greg Lang. Um, so it's been a, a really fun summer celebrating our local printmakers and artists. And now we're looking forward to that with this weekend as well. Um, the change I was referring to is the fact there's no admission anymore to the Rockford Art Museum. How'd you pull no, that off? How'd you pull that off coming out of COVID when the lights were off and everything was happening? It was very important for us just to make sure that, that art is accessible to everybody. And so um, we went out and it was a mission of ours to get sponsors for every exhibition so that um, people can come in at any point, see the museum for free and experience uh, this gem of uh, art museum we have in our city. So local uh, businesses and individual supporters have made that possible for us. And has it worked? Have we seen more people visit? Absolutely. Yeah, we just, you know, and uh, we've just got such a great complex here with Discovery Center and Burpee and the dance company. So mm -hmm. I just feel like it's a, a lot easier for people to um, make a day out of it when when you know you can count on one of the museums uh, being free admission. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so your attendance has been uh, uh, quite a bit larger than it had been prior to having to charge. So that's that's a good news for the Rockford Art Museum. And Absolutely. you guys are hosting uh, the Greenwich Village Art Fair once again this weekend. Uh, give us the, uh, give it, how many, how many, um, how many, what number? 75. 75 years? 75 years. Is we this... are the longest running art fair in the Midwest. Okay, wow. Is it longer running than the actual Greenwich Village Art Fair? I think you, <laughs> can't be that Maybe long. Maybe not that long. Maybe not that long. <laughs> now that is, that is you, you named it after the uh, art, area in New York City, correct? It was named after that. You didn't name it. It was, it, yeah. yeah. I don't think you were around 75 years ago, but uh, um, it was named after. So does it have that uh, that vibe of a New York City art fair? Is that something you tried you know, to maintain? Yeah, it's evolved over the years, certainly, but um, it did start because, you know, Greenwich was known as that neighborhood in New York that was bohemian, had a lot of artists and musicians, and so um, I know that they were certainly trying to kind of mirror that when it started in 1948. Um, it was a little different then because it was on the grounds of Burpee Museum next door. So it was in the front yard and um, so it was on the grass and, um, but things have changed so much and um, the fair has grown significantly. So yeah, it's um, all over the parking lot now at your that, place. Or... Yes, we're so lucky to be um, on the on the river so it's really beautiful um and it's just it's always so much fun and it's a, it's a lot of work going into it but it's worth it it's our biggest fundraiser of the year and it's just so fun around this time to hear all of the stories that people have um, from visiting greenwich when they were little um, to exhibiting at greenwich or playing music and so it's it's kind of a nostalgic art fair too i feel like for our community uh, with uh with how many vendors do you have on tap for this year we have 75 artists and vendors, so it was, we didn't even plan on that. You didn't plan happened. it that way. Huh? <laughs> um, but it was perfect. And so we've got um, a lot of great local artists that are showing, but we also have a lot of artists that are coming from um, across the nation. So um, you're seeing some of the, some of the work that will be shown this weekend. It's a great mix of paintings, ceramics, jewelry, 
uh, woodworking. So, and then we've got a creations by kids tent. So it's, it's all ages, very friendly for families um, where you can bring your kids for some great kids activities. This year we're doing food trucks. Um, we've also got Point Bar, which is a long running bar um, by Doc and Jerry, Jerry Cortman, Doc mm -hmm. Slavkowski. Um, they've been doing it for years. They also started Spark Bar, which is a champagne bar that we have down near the river too. So um, it's just, it's a great way to spend your weekend. You can come back both days. Um, and then we've got a great music lineup as well. So yeah, music, uh, art for the eyes and music for the ears and uh, even something for the taste there with food trucks and beverages available. Uh, it, is, it is kind of like a trip back to the uh, art district in, in New York or the Greenwich art area there. But, uh, uh, and, and it is Saturday, what time? Saturday and Sunday, two days, the gates open. Yep, Saturday. Saturday is 10 to 6, and we actually are having a little after party after from 6 to 7.30, where Swing Billy's going to be playing music. Uh, the artists probably won't be showing at that point, but it's a great time to come meet artists if they're hanging out for the after party. And then Sunday is 10 to 5, and it is $5 uh, for kids 12 and under is free. Um, and we do ask for cash for admissions. We will have an ATM, but it's just easier if you bring cash uh, just for admissions. But then artists will take uh, cash and, and credit cards as well. They'll even take your firstborn, you know. Apps, we'll take anything. We'll okay. sell anything. <laughs> but yes, $5 cash admission is preferred and highly recommended. Uh, with you, with the art fair taking up the parking lot, uh, how is parking handled there for people who want to attend this weekend? So if you go to GreenwichVillageArtFair.com, we've got some more information about parking, attendance, all that good stuff. We've got a fact sheet that you can look at, but we're also working with the trolley. So the trolley is going to be making stops um, uh, in locations around downtown. So you're able to park, hop on the free trolley, and make your way down to the museum. Otherwise, we've got parking around the neighborhood. There's street parking, but we also have some local lots um, that we've partnered with businesses around. So we will have big signs in those lots where you can park. Otherwise, you can uh, go onto our website and uh, find out more information about the trolley stops. A family-friendly art fair, now 75 years strong, the Greenwich Village Art Fair at the Riverfront Museum Park. Family-friendly family price of just $12 for those 12 and older. And five dollars. Uh, yes, five dollars for those twelve. And thank you, Carrie, for those uh, those twelve years old and older. So uh, uh, check it out this weekend, Saturday, and again on Sunday. It's in downtown Rockford, the Greenwich Village Art Fair for seventy-five years now, and GreenwichVillageArtFair.com for more information on parking. Nice to see you again, Carrie. And nice to see you too. Thanks for having me. Have a great weekend. You too. We'll be right back.